All right, guys, how's it going? So bringing back an old friend here. We got the injector tester rig thing, whatever. I never really named it, but it's there. So that's what we're gonna use today. This is gonna take me kind of a while to do this. So Hunter from Hunter Tuned brought over a ton of injectors, all of these injectors, and we're gonna flow test all of them. So I'm gonna do this, and these are all gonna go back to him. He's got some pretty cool stuff that he's gonna be doing with these, so check that out. So these are all from uh, LS-based truck engines, but these are the flex fuel injectors. Check these guys out. These are a little bit longer, and this is the comparison between the two. So they're a little bit bigger, a little bit longer. Uh, they're supposed to flow a little bit more, up to like 90 pounds, I guess, versus the like 70-ish, 75-ish for the other ones. So we're gonna test that. As you can see, we have some already that that are already decapped, and then some that are not decapped. So this is a good opportunity also to show the difference between the decapped and the not decapped injectors. And then we can do a difference between decapped, not decapped, and then we can do decapped and not decapped on the flex field. So he brought these over kind of a while ago and I'm totally happy that these have the plugs on them because I almost went to the junkyard uh, today actually and I was gonna go look for some flex fuel plugs for these things because I knew he brought the injectors over and I wanted to test them but I didn't think that they had plugs on them. So I almost went to the junkyard today without checking and it's like zero degrees outside to find what I had in the garage. That would have been funny. So yeah, let's get to it. So we're gonna test all these injectors. We are going to decap some of them. We're gonna test the difference between decap and not decap. And we're also gonna check the difference between decap and not decap on the flux fuel. After this test, and after this test, we should be able to compare the two tests to see how much more the flex fuel injectors flow than these things. And if you're wondering why the heck do I have a lawnmower engine bolted to a TV stand, you can check that out in a previous video and watch me run this engine on hydrogen that I made from tin foil and drain cleaner. So I'll put a clip in there now, go back, check out that video. Let me know if you're interested in that kind of stuff. I'd love to do a lot more of that because it's pretty cool. For now, to keep it simple, I'm just gonna take all the uh, decap injectors first, and I'll do all those. So I'm gonna take all the, the ones that still have the caps on them, and throw them back in the bag, get them out of the way, and then we'll focus on these guys first. Okay, so just a brief rundown of what this unit actually is. It's just some graduated cylinders, uh, factory truck fuel rail with the with the metal crossover rail that I cut and then I welded a little hose barb fitting on there. Factory harness wired to a battery. I have it hooked up to a switch. Also have it hooked up to this little guy right here. This is a frequency generator. So when I push this button, you can hear the clicking and it pulses the injectors. And I also have another switch over here that just turns the injectors on all the time. So I can have it off, injectors on all the time, or I can pulse the injectors. So I don't wanna go into a whole lot of detail of the rig itself. I have that in a previous video, making the whole thing. I think I actually have two videos on that, so go back and check those things out. Now let's get to the flowing. So we have all these injectors done. All these injectors here. We got them laid out, one through 18, and all of the numbers. So we have a pulse for 20 seconds number and a wide open for 15 seconds number. And that's all we got. These are just in order, one through 18, then one through 18 here. I'm just gonna leave these just like this for now until I'm done with more of them. And then the next test we're gonna do is the decapped versus not decapped for the regular truck injectors and the flex fuel injectors. So here we have a regular truck injector set, decapped, not decapped, and then we have the flex fuel set, not decapped, and decapped right here. So these have a little bit of a different plug on them. So I did have to wire those things in there. Just kind of temporarily wired them in because I think he wants these plugs back so I'll be able to pull them back out. I didn't actually cut anything. Uh, so let's go ahead and test these things. Okay, so the first test we'll do 15 seconds wide open. I guess, I guess it doesn't really matter if we do timed or not. So we'll just do wide open test. This is the regular truck injectors. <clears throat> decapped, not decapped not decapped, decapped. These are the flex fuel over here. So turn the fuel pump on, just see what happens. 
This is gonna be the injectors all the way on. Okay, so now that we have that done, we have about 210 milliliters here on the decapped regular truck injector, and we have 230 on the flex fuel decapped truck injector. So that's actually quite a bit more. I've actually flowed these, all of these, uh, probably about 10 or 15 times now. When I originally started doing this test with these same four injectors, this injector was actually flowing less than this one here. So I think this one was just kind of gummed up and probably not really working right. I did have to push the pintle in with a pan again to get it to cycle the first time because it was like completely stuck shut. So that would make sense if this has like E85 or some kind of flex fuel junk in it, uh, why it would be stuck after it was sitting for quite a while. So the more that I flow these things, this one actually starts to flow more. So that's actually quite a quite a significant difference now. That's probably the most I've seen it yet. So 210 versus 230. And then these two have been pretty consistent. The, the factory capped flex fuel and regular. So this one is only about 70 and this one is at 100. So with the caps on them, the the flex fuel flows a lot more about 25 percent more and that's been pretty consistent so that's i guess about it the flex fuel does definitely flow more i'm just questioning how much more it's actually flowing when it's decapped so if we put this into a percentage so it's probably about 10 percent more yeah so this is this is about eight to ten percent more right now decapped so let me dump all these out and then we'll we'll do the pulse test on it the pulse test it's a little bit different than my original video. It's about 21 hertz now, so I got it set up for about a 2500 RPM engine equivalent. So you get a good representation of what the injectors are actually doing. Uh, we'll say normal driving load conditions and wide open conditions. So now let's take this thing again, pull these things up and we'll flow them, but we'll do it pulse this time. Turn the fuel pump on. Let's go. So that was kind of a while that I did it. I tried to get it almost to the same level here. So this one's at 105, it was at 100 last time. So again, we have about 25% more with the capped regular fuel injectors for the flex fuel, it's flowing more, which makes sense if you're gonna be using ethanol, it's gonna need more fuel. And here we have 222-ish and then we have actually about the same. So with these with these pulsing, the flex fuel is not actually flowing more. But like I said, I think that this one is kind of gummed up, so I'm probably going to do another test with a different one because I don't really I don't really trust that one because it was stuck and then it was like actually leaking for a little while. Okay, so the next thing I want to cover is the spray pattern. There's always a lot of uh talk we'll say about the spray pattern and how it's just going to be a solid straight stream like out of a garden hose and you're not going to be able to properly burn your fuel when you use decapped injectors and all kinds of junk like that so let's look at it let's see what happens first one is going to be the regular truck injector with the cap on it i'm going to open the injector up right now oh man Silly mother sucker. Don't be dumb guys. Don't be dumb. I'll open that injector up again And look at this pattern All 
All right, so that was the regular Capalicious So Delicious truck injector. Now we will do the decapped. All right, so you saw both patterns with your own eyes. What do you think? Leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. I'm not gonna give you my opinion. I'll let you guys decide for yourself. So one pattern versus the other, decap, not decapped. What do you think? All right, so I got all these decapped. These are just the regular truck injectors. These are the flex fuel. All of these are decapped now. So I'm gonna throw them up in the rig and we'll get this thing going. All right guys, so I've been at this for about eight hours now. Working on the flex fuel injectors now. Got all of the regular truck injectors done and got a couple sets picked out. So I got these all done. The ones that are missing out of those spots are the ones that are out already. Got the list here and starting to go through and do the flex fuel injector. What I did notice about the flex fuel injectors is they do flow more, but they're all goobered up for a while. So some of them I've actually had to run like four or five times before I could get a decent flow out of them. Some of them don't even open. So I'll either have to push the pintle in or cycle them a few times just to get them to run and then it's got to clean all that crap out of there. I already did this set right here. I'm gonna show you guys this and see if it can do the same thing. It might not. It might get stuck or it might have like a big green blob that comes out of it. So it's kind of weird. Those things are definitely a little bit sketchy but if they are cleaned out decent and they do flow more, so let's play with those. First, let's check the flow out on these two over here. So I'm gonna run these things. Let's run the pump, let's start it back over. And we'll try to hit 15 seconds this time. 15 is just the number that I picked because I felt like it. Pretty scientific. All right, so that was the 15 second test. So like I said, 195 here, and then we got a 190. So pretty consistent. Now I'm gonna dump these out again, and we'll go through and we'll do the 20 second pulse test. So this is basically what I've been doing over and over and over and over, all freaking day long. And this is the last set that I gotta do, which is probably good, because I definitely would have ran out of beer if I had to do any more. So now I'm gonna run this other test. Flip the switch over to the other side, turn the pump on, and I'll push my little button over here. And I'm gonna run this test for 20 seconds. So this test is a 21 hertz test. And 21 hertz is just what I set it at. That's about a 2500 RPM equivalent engine speed. So if you write down these numbers, that's at a 140. Right here is at a 140, and this one's also at a 140. So if we look at all of the injectors so far, 140, 195, 140, 195, 35, 190, couple of those. We got another 140, 195, 140, 195, 140, 195. So a lot of them are coming out at 140, 195. So that's really good that those are pretty much very, very close. So next step, dump these back in, and then I'm gonna switch over to the other two injectors because these are done. So and the reason that I'm only doing two at a time is so the fuel pressure stays at around 55 PSI. So if I run all four decapped injectors at the same time, the pressure drops down to about 25 pounds, which is not gonna be accurate, so I'm not doing it. Just ain't doing it. So let's pop this thing over here. I do like the plug style on these flex fuel injectors. These things are pretty nice. I do like them. They seem a little bit stronger. It's probably going to work just fine. Just because it's the last set and I'm trying to show you guys as an example, it's probably going to work just wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to run the pump and I'm going to try to open them and see what they do. Oh, sure enough, works fine. Great. So basically what it was doing on some of the other sets, I would turn it on like that and nothing would come out. Or it would be just a little bit of a trickle or the stream would be shooting out sideways like you just woke up and then it would be like all over the place and then I'd pulse it a little bit and then it would actually start to spray. Okay, that is about it for this video guys, but check this out. See all that junk down in there? And 
and then the bottom of this one. So that's all that stuff that's coming out of the flex fuel injectors. It's taking a little while to get them going and then it's just launching a bunch of crap out of there because they're getting all sticky and nice. So yeah, that would be a watch out for those things. Just make sure they get cleaned. I'd be a little bit concerned after running this test with them cleaning out even more and then the test not being accurate. So that's always another kind of thing to worry about. But yeah, that's about it for today. So let's look at what we got. So out of all these injectors here, we do have the data. A lot of the data is really close. The high end is looking about 175, 180-ish. We did have some low oddballs here, like this 160. Uh, this one I just labeled it dud because it wasn't even really doing anything. The high end was 90 on that one. And then the low end was, was pretty low, so I didn't even really care about that one. I was able to get a complete set for Hunter. Uh, this was uh, what I kind of picked out for him for the, the Chev Stang. So six of these injectors are an exact match on the low end and the high end. So I label, labeled them here 130, 180. They're, all six of them are 130, 180 match, exact match. And then there's two of them in here that I have labeled a little bit differently. So yeah, one of them is 2.4% different on the low end, but the high end matches exactly. And then the other one both are a little bit bigger, so I recommended that he put that one in his number seven cylinder. That one's about 2.7% uh, larger, flows a little bit more. So we've talked about this in a previous video, but the reason that I picked that one that's flowing a little bit more, it's 2.7% more. Label that one as number seven cylinder, so you can put that one in cylinder number seven, because usually on these engines they lean out a little bit more, so maybe it wouldn't hurt to have a little bit more fuel. But other than that, seven of the injectors are within 2.4%, and the other one is 2.7%. Basically seven of the injectors match within 0% at full wide open. So that's a pretty good deal. So I'm gonna go in, wash the gas off my hands, get some fresh air, open the garage door, have a good night.